Hello everyone and welcome to a Camp Cretaceous video. This popular series is coming to an end with the fifth season being its final one. The trailer just dropped. If you haven't seen it yet, check it out in the link below. In this video, we're gonna break it down and talk about all of it. My first reaction to the trailer was actually, oh, this is just a fan-made trailer that has somehow gotten some traction because of the timing or something, because it starts with just a lot of footage from from the past seasons so it was very very odd for me i really thought i was being tricked but it's not a trick at about the uh the halfway point that's where we start getting to see new footage for the upcoming season the previous season it ended very abruptly with out of all people kenji's dad showing up out of nowhere of course we know that there was some sort of dinosaur mind control situation going on on this as of yet, as far as I'm aware, unnamed islands with all of the different biomes and stuff like that. And that's where they still are. We have a shot with like troops coming into, coming onto the island. It actually looks like all these vehicles are unmanned. So they're like remote controlled or something. Cause it doesn't seem like there's actually a place for the driver in there. Uh, we have uh, Mr. Evil over here doing evil things, looking at his evil map. I'm sorry, I'm being totally narc. I'm guessing this is Kenji's dad. Uh, he's somehow in charge of the operation on this island. I don't know yet what the purpose is going to be of that. We have Rexy coming in with the, the drones circling her. Of course, those drones, they put out like an invisible force field, which is one of the many very high tech, kind of too advanced technology that the series has introduced in the past season, in my personal opinion, at least. I doubt it's actually Rexy, although there is some scarring on the nuzzle, muzzle, sorry, nuzzle, <laughs> muzzle. So who knows? I don't see any scarring on the neck, but the coloration of it would technically be okay. So who knows? They, it, it could actually be Rexy after all, instead of one of the other Tyrannosaurus that we've seen so far. And I say that because we also get a shot of the Barbasol cat. It's not branded. So I'm guessing they couldn't secure the licensing for the series. <laughs> But I'm fairly confident that this is supposed to be the Barbasol can that Dennis Nedry dropped, as we know, right before he got eaten. So some of this is taking place on Nublar, even though the kids have moved on, have moved away from that island. But let's go back. So we have Rexy, then we have Dilophosaurus giving chase. The previous season ended in the Dilophosaurus territory, so this could be very close to the start of the season. We have Kenji being pushed out of the way by, um, oh my god, I've forgotten her name. I'm so, so, so sorry, but the scientist lady on the island that has been helping the kids. She looks to be all right. She was injured uh, near the end of the previous season, but she, she looks to be all right at the moment. Kenji is wearing a suit. So what I'm guessing is that he's trying to please his dad. He's trying to conform, you know, he's he's putting on a suit. He's trying to make his dad happy, happy but in the end, he's gonna choose the side of, of the other kids. And he's gonna help out and overtake his own father, essentially. Here we have uh, the crew, the bad guys, with the, the bad guy dinosaurs. That has to be Toro. There's only one Carnotaurus that crispy. So uh, that has to be Toro. Look at him standing there. And then the Spinosaurus and Baryonyx. And obviously they're being controlled by the guys that, that are standing in front of them. You can literally see them like holding remotes. So the dinosaur control has come very far at this point. They were, they were experimenting with it in the previous season, but it didn't feel very advanced at that point. This, this looks very advanced. Like they're literally, re they're literally remote control dinosaurs. I'm not sure how I feel about that. Let me know in a comment down below what you feel about that. I'm not sure. Especially since this is supposed to be canon. Uh, speaking of cans. <laughs> no, here we have the shaving cream can. We can move on from that. This is Big Edie swiping at Darius. She looks very injured. So she's she's probably being used in like dinosaur fights and stuff. Here we have this, <laughs> this dude riding Toro. I'm, I, th yeah, that's definitely Toro. I mean, that's a cool concept, riding dinosaurs. I think that's like a childhood fantasy for all, all dinosaur fans. It's certainly something I've dreamt about from time to time during like boring classes, but I still don't know how I feel about that being canonically within the Jurassic World and by extension Jurassic Park franchise. Jumping off a waterfall, okay. I don't know who this is. It could potentially be Darius' brother. 
the ethnicity seems to be matching, and also just in the way that they're hiding his identity, seems to be alluding that it's sort of a big deal. This person, you know, they're giving it mystery for a purpose. So I'm guessing that this would indeed be Darius' brother, possibly the two camp guides as well. Who knows? Maybe they're they're helping as well. They're in the facility. We have one of the brat exes following them. Oh boy. Uh, USB drive being dropped and the Spinosaurus there. I don't quite know the significance of the USB drive. I don't know if that's something that's hinted at in the in the previous seasons that I've forgotten about. If I did, please leave it in the comments down below if you know what could potentially be on this drive or if it's newly introduced for this final season but it looks like probably one of the kids dropped it and they're unable to go back for it because the Spinosaurus is chasing them we have a cool scene coming in with the Pteranodon chasing them Kenji's looking very concerned very very concerned uh, we have uh, Ben and Yas running away from I guess that's Big Edie which T-Rex is this one I'm not quite sure if that's Big Edie or not or who that could be yeah, there we have it. The final season, season five, is coming out on July 21. Interestingly, after Jurassic World Dominion, canonically, it takes place before the events of Jurassic World Dominion. So it's going to be very, very interesting to see how they tie those thing things together. I am very curious about this season. Let me know in a comment down below what you think, what you're looking forward to. And of course, as always, if you want. And of course, as always, for more dinosaur content, then please consider subscribing to the channel. All right. Thank you so much for watching, liking, subscribing, and until next time, enjoy the hype!